In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after making 576 terrible jokes at the expense of Ocarina of Time, crept away from the game that had made him a legend. Done with the parodies he once posted online, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. Twenty minutes later, he put his pants back on and went back to making fun of video games. The Legend of Zelda, Malfunctioning Fog Machine of Time. Hey Link, remember how you're looking for a fairy? Why don't you ask the fairies? Uh, did the two pixies just silently decide to mug the hero of time? Ten points for the backflip dismount. Oh no, not an easy to defeat enemy from the first game. Hm, having strobe lights for friends does have its perks. Magical sword, priceless ancient shield. Ooh, a blue flute. Good job on remembering that neither of you have hands, Tattle. All right, Skull Kid has Epona, but that's fine. I'll just use some light arrows to... Where'd all my crap from the last game go? Thank goodness we've got the extra RAM of the N64 expansion pack to handle these sick flips, brah. Once upon a time, Ben drowned. In the delicious fruity flavors of Majora's Mask Fruit Gummies, available now at Walmart. This isn't Devil's Snare, is it? You hid the horse for literally five minutes and you already killed it? You know, I'm beginning to think this guy may be a tiny bit of a douche. Wait. Why are you shaking your... Why are there... Oh, come on! I don't want to be a grass type! Excuse me, sassy fairy, but wouldn't you hitting me actually give me hearts? And thus, Tattle spent her three days in Termina suffering from a major concussion. Yeesh, I actually kind of miss Navi after all this ranting. Nah, I'm sure your brother will be fine with the genocidal maniac. And there goes the fourth wall. Every time you fart in a flower, a Deku earns its helicopter blades. Here, learn about Zed targeting by focusing on this dead body. Whoa, look how trippy and dark this game is! Gee, I sure hope I can get out of here before some creepy dude starts giving me loads of exposition. Or not. You literally just sell masks, and people make fun of me for being an art student. Oh no, with a face like yours, why wouldn't I want you stalking me? You can turn me back to normal? Really? Is that what you told this guy? This is not a pleasant camera angle. Aw, oh, you've gotta leave in three days. What's the rush? Oh. Darn it, why does everyone look like people I already know from Hyrule? I want someone new! I take that back. I take that back. Congrats on holding the map that looks nothing like Termina upside down, Tingle. Darn. And here I was planning to use Tingle Tingle Kulu Limpa on some girls at the bar. Hey, where'd Madonna go? Because inside every hot deity are a few dozen creepy anime pixie things. And suddenly I know why this game has so many creepypastas. I don't think that's how water is supposed to work. Oh great, even when you're made of rock, you still talk like a Shakespearean idiot. Yay, we save the boobs! Ah yes, young one of the altered shape. That's exactly what my bullies called me in middle school. Magic power growing in me. I can, I can, I can shoot bubbles now! Sure, the world is gonna end in a couple of days, but that means there's plenty of time to play hide and seek. Yeesh, I guess they teach racism at a young age around here. Four, five, three, one, two. As in, the same number that operates as the zip code for Castown, Ohio? A small village with a population of only 267? What is it with Zelda games and terrifying stuff built under their main villages? A poorly textured balloon? Truly the most fiendish of puzzles. Oh good, the old people are bigots too. Note to self, climb tree to get 40 bucks later. Hmm, I guess the moon was watching the first 10 minutes of Up again. Oh, knock it off, Miley Cyrus. Excellent! Now I can trade the priceless extraterrestrial rock for... a deed. To a flower. I own a flower now. Well, I guess we got some time to kill. There's gotta be something to do in this town, right? Okay, screw it. Let's just skip time with the drunk scarecrow. Riveting speech, Skull Kid! Oh. 
Great, more screaming and colored filters. Cause that's always gone so well for me in the past. Would it help if I told you I actually own property downstairs? No? All right, let's go with the SpongeBob route. You know, five minutes from the world's end isn't the greatest time for a sentimental flashback. Sending the Ocarina of Time far away from Hyrule? Why didn't you try that the last game? Da 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 da, you got a catchy tune stuck in your head. Wow, a character that actually talks sense in this series? That's new. So I can just murder him with bubbles and end the game now, right? That's it, you asked for it. Where we're going, we don't need ocarinas. Time to kick your ass, Louis Armstrong style. Wait, wait, what's happening? The Legend of Zelda, malfunctioning fog machine of- Wait, is anyone else getting deja vu? You know that awkward moment when it takes you so long to make a part two that Nintendo goes ahead and remakes the whole game? Welcome back to 64 Things Wrong with the Moon's Nose. Welcome to Termina, where nobody except Tattle gives a single crap about time travel. Wait, how are you turning me back to human? This isn't a Beauty and the Beast magical makeout session type deal, right? Whoa, do not be our guest! Oh, phew, he's just got a random huge piano instead. Close call. I wonder if Saria knew that playing her song backwards could turn people into fashionable headwear. Sayonara, Audrey 2. Oh, thank God, I still got my white boy booty. So, uh, I didn't exactly get that thing you wanted, but if you could just react calmly, then... Well, I tried. Dude, he said the name of the game! Hexing Rituals. That's funny, I have a mask at home for something that's just a letter off. You were brewing dark omens? Uh, maybe you should stick with green tea. Whoa now, no need to call him an imp. The politically correct term is Kokiri American. Nintendo, why would you draw faces like that? All right, it's time for our adventure to properly begin. A race against time to save the world from certain destruction. This is- Oh, hey, I can slow down time. So much for that. These guards won't allow a magical plant creature to go out on its own, but hey, eight-year-old kids are fine, right? Am I the only one who thinks choo-choos would taste delicious? Rolling through an overworld to catchy music. Never done that before. Hey, remember how we just had a five long minutes of exposition cutscenes? Let's do it again! You guys drew this with Skull Kid? Did you notice that he made you look like sperm? Hey, let's cuddle up with the platypus we just met inside a tree! Huh, grass without collision detection sure is good for hide and seek. Ah, nothing's more nostalgic than your first violent robbery. Look, I'm not weird. These guys totally look strawberry flavored. Get the map run away. Get the map run away. Get the map and run away. Ugh. Southern Swamp? Yeesh, I knew Texas was bad news. Hmm, I wonder who lives in the bong. Oh god, not you! How'd you escape the spirit temple? How am I supposed to kill you without the mirror shield? How- Oh, you sell stuff now. Uh, I guess you can live. Following monkeys around before the first temple of the game? I'll let it slide this time, Nintendo, but don't try this thing again. Wow. Rise of the planet of the useless douchebags. What is with Skull Kid and knocking people out in the middle of the woods? Get a better fetish, dude! Here, chug some ketchup! Yo, Ursula, get out the way! Okay, I need to break into the highly secure Deku Palace, but those guards are clever. They won't just let a human through. I'll need to think of an ingenious way to trick them. Hey, how's it going? I'm totally not the same green dude as before. I pinky swear. Okay, if you're gonna rip off Assassin's Creed, at least let me backstab some of these guards. Whoa, Woodfall Temple? Whatever happened to naming things after elements? You know, fire, water, beryllium, a melody that wakes sleeping people up? You know what else would do that? Literally any song played on five trumpets at once. Okay, we're finally headed to a dungeon. No more inter- Oh, come on, what are you doing here? You know, it'd be a lot easier to read sheet music if it wasn't printed on such a low resolution rock. Congratulations, we're 106 things into this series and we're finally entering our first dungeon. Yay. This place stinks like the poison swamp? Hmm, I wonder if it's all the poison on the floor. Nintendo uses turtles as enemies more often than Ubisoft uses stubbly white guys as protagonists. <sighs> Every game has to have parkour these days, doesn't it? Ah, the classic Zelda enemy, Blurry Black Blob! 
Does this count towards my practice hours for a pilot's license? Damn, someone's been working out since the last game. Wait, you mean I don't have to settle for a cruddy slingshot this time? Oh hey, it's Slippy's evil cousin. How you doing? Hooray for puzzles that will become obsolete as soon as I get fire arrows, yay. First boss time, what'll it be? A spider, a big plant thing, a giant terrifying jungle warrior the size of a house? Actually, that sounds pretty accurate. Oh no, it's... How do I pronounce that? Oh, why can't I dance like that? da -na -na -na. you decapitated a titan. Well, now we know how much of this game's budget was spent on shrooms. All of it. What is that, a head with arms and legs? Is that Gurren Logan? Gee, we sure are lucky that Tattle is perfect pitch. Believe me, I'm a musical theater student. That shit's rare. Call us? Hey, buddy, I've had my experimental phases, but one lover at a time, please. Yo, lady, thanks for getting yourself kidnapped and forcing me to go through stealth segments to sneak past your father's men. Really appreciated it. Hey, the new Smash Bros just came out and they buffed DK, so of course I smell like monkey. Okay, I'm flexible, but this princess is ridiculous. And thus, the princess body slammed her father, terrified the guards of the castle, and stopped her monkey friend from getting deep fried. Termina is weird. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for this episode. I guess I better go back to the dawn of the first day and save this shindig. Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing? No, please don't. I hate time travel. Oh, hey, Logitech HD webcam. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry there hasn't really been any 64 Things Wrong videos lately. I've just been, you know, so busy with schoolwork that it's just been a bit hectic and I can't... In my defense, Sonic is currently being transformed into a werehog, which I think is a serious plot point that needs to be addressed further and I just couldn't put this book down. All right, I'll, I'll finish the damn Zelda video. Most games have grinding. This game has gardening. Yo, guys, we need an enemy for an ice level. Uh, should we just reuse the dinosaurs from the fire dungeon in the last game? Oh, okay, makes perfect sense. Nintendo made it really hard to fit all of these notes in one shot so that I could make a dumb joke about them reusing the Forest Temple song. And apparently busking is the most profitable job in all of Termina. So, uh, could we have a teleportation method that doesn't smell like bird crap? Well, it's just like the Second Amendment says, all Hylians have the right to buy puzzle-solving explosives. See you, Clock Town. I'll do your side quest next episode. You know, this is pretty much the only game ever where ice has to be shattered instead of melted. Link's apparently that one jackass that takes snowball fights a bit too seriously. Oh good, another ice-themed enemy. You know, cause spiders are totally associated with snow. Yeah. Wow, making your village difficult to get to for non-Gorons? Uh, you ever heard about a little thing called equality? Oh, Canada. Our home and the extra RAM of the N64 expansion pack was mainly used to increase the sassiness of Link's default pose by 500%. So, uh, you thinking of putting pants on anytime soon? Maybe a scarf or something? Here we see a Deku shrub, showing a complete disregard for how plants actually work. <sighs> So it's gonna change from looking like Canada to looking like Eastern Canada? You know, I still think that some middens or something would be a bit more useful than courage and determination. Where's my Triforce of proper footwear, eh? Follow the pixely feathers. Got it. Da -na -na -na. You got the creepy eye thing from the last game. Oh, this whole floating blocks that only sometimes are invisible totally makes sense. Hey buddy, maybe you should go easy on the ab workouts for next time. Nah, I can't see you. I just wanted to stand here and awkwardly stare at a 45 degree angle. <sighs> Why can ghosts never just hold your hand and walk someplace with you? 20 rupees for a map? What a deal! Does it come with an AC adapter? Uh, you know I can't fly, right? Ugh, thank goodness I can use magic to see literally only a foot in front of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You buried your great hero in a hot spring? Something tells me that's gonna start to stink. Note to self, don't touch Mr. Freeze. Ah, dude, you're dead? I just assumed you had dandruff. And you died by slipping off a cliff. I can tell you're a real genius. Uh, what's that? Uh, could you speak up? 
Is it possible you want me to heal you? Perhaps by playing the song of healing? Goron Mosh Pit! So, Nintendo just didn't bother to make the Goron mask look like the actual Goron it's made of? Huh. Tutorials written on a tombstone. Nintendo's really aiming for that senior market. Oh my god, this game is rated N for nipples! Rock hard Goron nipples. Oh good, Goron Link is sassy too. Let's go get some Chaos Emeralds! Gorons have the technology to make butt-activated doors, yet can't keep warm during the winter. You know, I've always thought Gorons were ugly, but considering how they looked as babies, they really only get better with age. Never mind, get it away from me! Oh good, so I have to keep going back and forth just for the super young and super old dude to remember one freaking song? And here's where we learn that Goron butt cheeks are as powerful as the Master Sword. Alright, Goron's Lullaby. Combine that with the last dungeon song and I'm practically a sleep controlling machine. Ow. Oops. Look at me, I'm a Tony Hawk. Damn, so this is where the Goron died? Well, at least he was blown off the edge by a menacing looking ice fortress and not a giant goofy fat dude, right? Fatality. Oh no, a block too big for an average person? Whatever will I do? Thank you, conveniently placed wooden crate. Yeesh, this temple has more unfinished pathways than... than... I don't really have a metaphor for this. Oh, so now I have to melt the ice instead of breaking it. Thanks for consistency, Nintendo! Alright, guys, I know you're getting tired of block puzzles, so I have an idea. Double-decker block puzzles. Hey, that's kinda cool! Gorons can walk in lava! I wonder if Deku Link can- <laughs> BRB got to deposit rupees cause 99 is a stupidly low cap. Hmm, this game just keeps giving me sexier and sexier mini-bosses. Who needs a unique item when you could just reuse a bonus weapon from the last game? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, crap. Oh look, a big scary bull monster. Should I free him? I think I should free him. I know I tweet about this like at least once a month, but really Nintendo, did, did you honestly have to make a better Sonic the Hedgehog boss fight than Sega's ever done? Give those poor guys a break! Uh, this, this feels inappropriate. I guess you could say they got really... Crave that mineral. Okay, that meme was like kind of relevant when I first wrote this script, and now it's not. And my god, I need to be faster with these things. Hooray! We've returned global warming back to Termina. But since next episode we're gonna have to continue from here to do side quests, I better save using an owl instead of the Song of Time. Cause I guess statues can freeze time? Maybe? Until next episode? TIME TRAVEL'S WEIRD! Hello everyone and welcome back to the first episode of 64 Things Wrong, where we won't be finishing a dungeon. Instead, we'll be exploring the beautiful emotions that surround each and every side-questing character in the heart-wrenchingly deep world of Termina. Also, I don't want to do the Great Bay Temple yet. Cause it's stupid. That place. Let's start off with a list within a list. Which characters are unaffected by time travel? Well, there's Link, and maybe the Owl, and this guy, the Banker. Cause that makes sense. For a secret society that values helping the people of Termina, the Bomber's leader sure does spend a lot of his time trying to pop a freaking balloon. Yay, I love doing side quests twice. I mean, I know you guys are used to your club being quintuplets only, but I'll totally fit in. Note to self, don't bring this book on a plane. Save a fairy once, get a cool bubble magic attack. Save a fairy twice, get invited to RuPaul's Drag Race? Congratulations on your hard work, Nintendo pixel artists. Oh sweet, I can use this mask to unlock new abilities? A and all I have to do is put together some more great fairies? How hard could that be? Nope, nope. Spin attacks and bigger magic meters are overrated anyways. Yup. That's me, Expert Person Finder. Says so right on my business card. Huh. You have a mask of your son. That's not weird at all! Also, was this kid's dad a shy guy? Yo, if any children watch this show, uh, don't talk to bald old men playing music in the park at night. Trust me. He might start playing Wonderwall. 
Wow, thanks for the needlessly convoluted backstory about a dog that for some reason gives me the mask of a bird. Wait, wait, does this thing play music? Uh, hey buddy, what you doing? Just standing around? At a playground? In the middle of the night? Watching a little kid? Oh, thank God, it's only a violent robbery. A suspicious violent thief can run right past a guard, but heaven forbid a Deku scrub try to go outside. Why, thank you for saving me, young man. Here's a mask that can blow your damn face off. Well, I sure hope that's the last creepy pale dude I run into tonight. Oh. Uh, that's a lot of leg. Bringing the world together through dance? Didn't Beyonce already do that? Wait, I need to use the Song of Healing? I'm totally gonna get an amazing transformation mask from this. Or, you know, that. So just to recap, the current uses of the B button in this game are sword, bubble, butt attack, dancing, suicide, dancing. Can I skip dance lessons and just have my Broadway choreographers use this mask, please? And this is awkward. Uh, ladies, could you not? I'm kind of trying to do my dramatic stretches. The owner of the curiosity shop seems rather unfazed by the fact that he has an enemy of the spirit temple behind him. So, uh, how much could I get for the all-powerful time-traveling flute? You know, it's actually impressive that they managed to make the sword upgrade quest in this game more complicated than the one in Ocarina of Time. Cause who needs trading quests when you can just cram a bunch of objectives that have to get done in the first day? Oh, my claustrophobia is going nuts with sympathy for this guy. Explode with powerful blasts. Very dangerous. Just like my butt! Uh, you're just gonna give me a live bomb as a test? Don't I get a practice water balloon or something? And why'd you light this thing now? What is with this game and time limits? All right, time to patiently wait for this thing to explode. Not. Ugh, haven't we had enough of this kid by now? Well, someone decided to take a day off early when they were programming his walk cycle. Now this is pod racing. Uh, shouldn't it be illegal for me to be the only guy with spikes? Never mind. I'm out for blood. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna win. Victory is mine. I'm gonna... What? Yes. Did it. Totally didn't take me six separate tries. Wow, someone gave me something of actual real world value for a side quest in a Zelda game? That's new. And thus, the baby Goron grew up to become Sonic the Hedgehog. We interrupt this video for a slow motion zoom on this guy's nipples. Oh yeah. You know, I appreciate you upgrading my sword, but uh, the breakable one kind of looks cooler than just adding stripes to it. Can we go back? Welcome to Lon Lon Ranch, or I guess not Lon Lon Ranch, because for some reason they changed the name in this game. I don't know. Oh cool, my horse isn't dead. At least this game isn't cruel to animals. At least this game isn't cruel to horses. Good. Aliens, because this game wasn't weird enough. Grasshopper? What am I, the Karate Kid? Wow, thanks for teaching me the song I already knew. Oh, so this is a puberty mask. You know, I'd like to think that I'm above making three Sonic jokes in one video. Yay, this game has two Luigi ripoffs. Uh, excuse me, are you trying to insult me or, or give me a tutorial? The Legend of Zelda Federation Force. Hey, I think we're beating them. We just gotta... Oh... oh. Oh dear. Uh, I think I'm ready for the water temple now. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of 64 Things Wrong with my upload schedule. Oops. Welcome to the beautiful Great Bay Area, well known for its stunning view, pristine waters, and green titty monster things. Link is somehow able to stay on a pono while she jumps over fences and walls, all without using a saddle. Dude, what kind of thigh workout are you on? Also, something tells me that being able to ride a Pona as a kid back in Ocarina of Time would have solved a lot of problems. Gee, I wonder where that Zora warrior everyone's talking about went off to. I mean, it's not like he's literally 20 feet from the shore, in plain view, surrounded by screaming seagulls. All right, if you've got enough energy to do the Kim Kardashian booty pop pose, you got enough energy to get yourself back to land. Hi. 
I'm uncomfortable with this. George Romero presents Knight of the Overly Character Designed Zora. Seriously, this dude's got like a million different tattoos and piercings. What is that? Is that ink or metal? Someone call Miyamoto, get him to spill the beans. Damn, pirates did this to you? Why would they do something crazy like, oh, you're a guitarist. Mystery solved. No, don't die yet. You have so much to live for. Think of how much money you could make covering Undertale songs. It's so popular right now. So apparently Link just goes and creates a grave for the Zora dude all by himself a few minutes after getting his mask. I mean, it's not like literally all his friends and family would want to know he's dead, right? Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Oh, sweet. I got abs now. Gee, what a fun swimming mechanic. I sure hope if they ever remake this game, they don't completely and utterly ruin it. Then again, all this swimming is reminding me a bit of something. Eh, never mind, it's nothing. Oh hey, it's that stage from the fourth best Smash Bros game. So, uh, which Zelda timeline deals with the fact that there's robot beavers? Why are there robot beavers in this game? You know, if you're gonna have a Superman 64 inspired level, the least you could do is let me throw some cars around as well. Okay, ladies, we've had to cut back on our security budget this year, so we decided to replace our outer wall guards with four sheets of plywood. Don't worry, honey, it's foolproof. And now the moment I've been training for. To get through this evil fortress, I'll have to utilize all of my stealthy ninja training and... <laughs> Just kidding, I have the stone mask. Hi, ladies. How you doing? Don't catcall, kids. It's interesting how nearly every other character in the game is pretty similar to their personalities in Ocarina of Time, while the Gerudo go from misunderstood desert babes to cold-blooded Zora-murdering ocean babes. That fall should have totally killed me. So, do the pirates just have a really muscular girl that's only job is to open the underwater doors for her friends? Water currents? Ah, oh, that's weird. I'm getting deja vu and... Uh, it won't show up again, I'm sure. The pirates just randomly have World War II era explosives. You can't see me. I'm John Cena. Na, 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 na. Uh, are those your butt cheeks? Someone's gonna get freaking stabbed on those butt cheeks. <laughs> get Nicolas Cage, diva ladies. So, uh, the hookshot's yellow now and doesn't really have a hook, so it's more of a shot with two stabby bits. Yeah, something tells me someone was watching Game of Thrones. Hey you, have you been collecting literally every possible bottle so far? Cause if not, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Wasting My Damn Time. Good. So this game's hookshot icons are boobs. A stealth puzzle, a woman on screen, but Ubisoft said that's impossible. So apparently only the pirates with Hot Topic lipstick are able to see through the stone mask. Note to self, Avoid people with Jack Skellington tattoos. Okay, excuse me? One of her swords is literally the size of Link's body, and she has two of them? How am I not dead? So, I had to run around a place filled with racially ambiguous chicks to accomplish a small amount of tasks in any order without any sense of escalation. I wonder why this feels familiar. Um, I think this dude is literally decomposing. Also, he just told me I have three more eggs to collect, so, uh... I, I hate him. Okay, now this dude wants me to go back to the pirate's fortress? So we can have a picture of one of them? Why would you want a picture of scantily clad pirate babes? Seriously, why do we keep having throwbacks to the desert stuff from Ocarina of Time? Whoa, why are these enemies literally just penises? Wait, your jump doesn't look like that? I should go to the doctor. Wow, Koji Kondo's music is so bad. I mean, apparently even babies can write it. Although, how does Link know how to play this? Did he take music theory classes back in Hyrule? Uh, let me just look this up real quick on ultimateguitartabs.com. As someone that's worked behind the scenes on multiple theatrical productions, the thoughts of maintaining a stage surrounded by waterfalls is triggering me. Uh, uh, oh, you need someone to test the microphones for you? I don't know about that. I mean, I haven't really prepared any. Who's ready for Wonderwall? <laughs> Considering you're in a performance hall for a rock band, shouldn't you be selling merch or maybe drugs? Well, I guess you got the drugs. Hey, it's the dude that always saves me from falling off the stage in the fourth best Smash Bros game. Wait, there's, there's still liquid inside this dungeon. What's going on here? 
There has to be some mistake. No, I did my time. I beat the water temple almost two years ago. It's... It's... The worst dungeon in a 3D Zelda. Ever. I would literally rather watch every Zelda CDI cutscene in a row. Twice. This temple is worse than anime. Take a shot every time you accidentally start pushing one of these things from the wrong side. That's, uh, that's not how physics work. A giant water-filled room with multiple paths that has to have its water altered to access all of them? We get it, Nintendo! Ocarina of Time exists! These walls have more clipping than a 3D Sonic game. A giant eyeball surrounded by a few dozen boobs? Sounds like a Zelda game, all right. Okay, that mini boss was annoying, but I'm sure this dungeon's item will be cool and life-changing, right? Nope, it's the ice arrows. The item's so exciting it got hidden away as a side quest in the last game. Get Canada, biznatch! Shout out to GameFAQs for being the only thing keeping the rest of this dungeon from being unbearable. Ugh, you know, it would suit this temple for the boss to just be a three-story fall that breaks your knees. Uh, guys? I found Nemo! You know, there's this new thing called flossing. I, I really think you should try it. Note to self, when I die, I also want to go out while breakdancing. All right, everyone, we've got three giants down and only two episodes left of this series to go. But first, this band needs to make some YouTube money. And there's only one way to do that these days. Shall we? Thingies. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Potentially Undead Upskirt Simulator 2016. All right, so so far in this game, we've saved the Deku Scrubs from being poisoned, the Gorons from being frozen, the Zoras from uh, not having good music, and now this guy wants me to worry about the dead? Uh, a buddy? If they're dead, I think they're past the point of helping. How bad does your life have to be for Melk Heist while wearing ghost masks to seem like a good business move? Funnily enough, the graveyard is the least spooky spot in all of Akana. I mean, at least this place has a white picket fence to keep out the neighbors. Hey there, guy that died in the last game. How you doing? I wonder what song I'll have to use for this one. Well, I can't really blame him. I mean, that's how I respond when I get woken up from a nap, too. Majora's Mask is one of the few games where being a furry actually gives you a tactical advantage. Luckily, this is only the second hardest skeleton boss I've had to fight this month. Skull Kida, I hardly knew her! <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, for God's sake. Cut this joke later. No, just, just skip the number. No, they won't notice. No one pays attention to what's up in the top left corner anyway. All right, you've done your duty, soldier. You can finally be at peace. Or, you know, just fall apart like that. Once again, I, Joshua McDougall, have proven myself to be a master of stealth. Either that or these guys are just f***ing idiots. All right, so there's an important artifact that I need down there. But this is a grave site, so we gotta be very respectful when we beat the bejesus out of that tombstone. Okay, last time I went under a graveyard, I just had to race the old dude from before. Now this time, you want me to fight Mr. Axe is totally compensating for something? I get too old for this. Like, a zoinks, it's a hipster ghost. Yeesh, who wrote this dialogue, Marilyn Manson? Wait, the song that you've put all of your emotions and frustrations and angst into is just three notes that get repeated? Dude, go back to Nickelback, will ya? So apparently the two things required to enter the land of the dead are A, a mask symbolizing the wandering spirits that haunt the canyon, and B, Spider-Man. All right, so the main thing I'm learning about spirits so far is that they're incredibly easy to trick with masks. Never mind. Now, I believe we gotta keep the sanctity of marriage. A man and a woman, a mummy and a daddy. And what's this house have? Four mummies. It's ridiculous. 
Hashtag vote for Trump. Aw, oh, man, now I know why you and your brother got so much beef. You tried to jack his mustache style, bro. Not cool. <laughs> you think your music can kill me? <laughs> Bitch, I know the windmill song. Yo, professor, since I fixed your speaker system, can I hook up my iPod to your house? I just got the Hamilton soundtrack. This rap stuff's my jam at the moment. Now, if for some reason you ever need to lure a little girl out of her house in the middle of nowhere, there's a few tips I've picked up along the way that may be useful for you. Step one, don't. Step two, use explosives. Children love explosives. All right, let's just wander around the house a bit, see if we can steal anything nice, and whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, that scared me for a minute there. That scared me! Tattle, you literally interrupt me every gosh darn minute. Don't you dare tell me I'm being insensitive. Wait, so every song of healing thing gives me crazy transformation powers, and this one just kinda gives me a lot of band-aids? All right. Yikes, I wish I could have come to this guy back when I was stuck in the forest temple. All right, so we're nearing the climax of the game. We've got the very last dungeon coming up. So what better way to keep the momentum going than having to give a bunch of mummies random items? Seriously, why is this dead dude want a fish? Ah, the mirror shield. In such a twisted Zelda game, it's almost refreshing to see a familiar and classic face. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? That's the face I make when I see a girl booby. All right, class, just keep concentrating and steadying those plies at- Did I say you could stop, Daryl? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Joshua McDougal, Duck Hunt Master. I mean, I've never seen this ballet move before, but okay. Did someone at Nintendo lose a bet? Hey, Reggie, if the Broncos win the Super Bowl, you gotta make every single mini boss the same ugly looking wizard dude. I mean, this place almost certainly has historical value, but sure, let's just nuke the roof off it. Wait, what's happening? Oh no! Those curtains totally don't match the rest of the decor! Oh god, where's a conveniently shaped lamp to hide behind when you need it? No, but for real, this is the face I make when I see a girl booby. Uh, excuse me, 911, I'd like to report an MLG hacker, please! Two ancient boss enemies arguing after they've been defeated until they actually die. Never seen that one before. And I need to go inside a temple to stop a curse. This area is just filled to the brim with originality. But stone tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. That's why I'm giving you the ability to hold down switches. Man, this thing looks weird. Almost haunted even. I just get the feeling that, that I'm gonna get so many extra views from putting this bastard in the thumbnail. Ooh, give me that YouTube money. Nope, so much nope. You wanna combine block puzzles and heights? I'll tell you nope right to your face, Miyamoto. All right, the path is open, the way is clear, the stone tower temple's about to get spanked. But first, let's drink some refreshing milk. I've been trying to figure out this room for ages, but I think I finally figured out what the f Has anyone at Nintendo ever had it explained to them how mirrors work? Not. Like. That. I wish I had a stone mask in real life so I could ignore all of my problems there too. Please don't just be an arrow upgrade. Please don't just be an arrow upgrade. Please don't just be an arrow upgrade. Ah! <laughs> hey buddy. You got a bit of 16-bit Andros on your face. All right. I just need a bit of a breather from that temple. Like, juggling all these transformations is exhausting. How could they make this place any more complicated? Guys, I think that milk I had might have been a bit expired. Okay, come on! This dungeon has like four mini bosses. Why did they have to use this guy again? Again! Oh god, it's Ben Affleck! Giant's Mask? Will this thing make the new Attack on Titan season come out faster? Hey now, nobody told me this was a tag team match! I would have brought Tingle along! Or, you know, Tingle's dad. He's got big muscles. Smile, you son of a... I said smile, you son of a... Smile, you son of a... Oh, will you please just let me do my Jaws joke? Ladies and gentlemen, one last time. This is really what happens when I see a girl booby. The creators of RFC would just like to remind you to only use the giant's mask in small doses and visit your doctor if its effects last more than four hours. Or rather, don't, because you've only got like a day and a half left to live. So live it to the fullest. So this is my eSports highlight reel. As you can see, I got a really tactical approach to every enemy encounter I face and professionalism. Professionalism and tactics are what I pride myself on. 
most of all. Guys, we did it! That's the last dungeon of the game down! All we have to do now is confront Skull Kid and... Wait, what's happening? Did my game reset? Guys, I, I didn't do that. That wasn't me, I... Uh... What the heck is that smell? Oh, come on, Ben! Not cool! Neil deGrasse Tyson ain't gonna like this. Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of 64 Things Wrong with Majora's Mask, where instead of actually getting to the point and beating the damn game, we'll be doing a buttload of side quests first. Because I know, if I don't get the Fierce Deity Mask, I'll never ever hear the end of it. Ever. I'm totally okay with all the backtracking you guys are making me do. Uh, dude, you know you're made of wood, right? might want to keep that thing away from your radical mustache. Oh, you gotta lead me to the present from the Deku King? It's just in the next room or something, right? Come on, what did I do to deserve all this parkour? You're just gonna watch, huh? That's just what you do all day? Sit around by the awkward moving platforms? Listen to some podcasts? Touch yourself? Watch whatever idiot tries to get a gift from the butler? You disgust me. All right, I've completed your silly little challenge. So tell me, what exactly is the secret treasure of the Deku Scrubs? It's, it's a pig. Wait, I remind you of your son? You made your own family go through that death trap? What kind of father are you? And what the heck even happened to your son? And why do I remind you of- Oh. That's just depressing. I, I don't even have a joke here. That's just sad as f Welcome to the Swamp Spider House, where we've managed to cram the entire previous game's main side quest into a single five-roomed dungeon. Uh, I think we may disagree on that one, buddy. Hooray for giant pots that literally don't appear anywhere else in the game. Aw oh, man, the Mask of Truth? That was like the coolest mask ever in Ocarina of Time. I can't wait to use its mysterious and unstoppable power to talk to dogs and gamble. Woohoo! The day may come where I don't point out how much better the Goron rolling mechanic is than any 3D Sonic game. Today is not that day. Okay, I'm not one to judge people's eating habits. I'm 90% pizza by this point. But who the heck hides rock meat in a chandelier? You can't do that to rock meat. It's gonna go bad. You're gonna get moss. Hey, we got a stone steak sirloin here just for you. Okay, fine, just eat it. Don't give me a tip or nothing. That's fine. I don't, I don't even- Did you know? That is not a mask. That's a hat. A frog hat, but still only a hat. Also, why the heck is a Goron that has literally nothing to do with frogs sitting in the middle of a frozen wasteland wearing a freaking frog hat? And now for Link to spend literally the maximum amount of money on a mask that keeps you up at night. Uh, dude, you don't need to have a mask for that. Anxiety will do it all for ya. So Nintendo was hiding some important backstory behind a 500 rupee paywall? What is this, a game from 2016? <laughs> all right guys, we've got one major side quest left to do that should get us all the extra masks we need before we can take on Skull Kid. In Fair Termina, where we lay our scene, a romance is brewing between a lovely but humble innkeeper and some purple-headed kid that I guess used to be an adult, but now he's a child because Skull Kid's a douche. Except it's, it's kind of a weird twist because you never actually get to see Cafe as a kid. So when he takes off his mask, it's more who the heck is this guy than anything actually dramatic. Plus there's a whole lot of short people in general in this game. So it doesn't immediately read that he's been turned into a kid because hey, he still looks kind of hot. Maybe Andrew just likes short people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, let's just get this subplot started. Excuse me, ma'am? Is it weird if I wear the face of your potentially dead boyfriend? A secret meeting late at night in the kitchen with a person wearing your lover's face? I think I've seen that porno. I'm just gonna use my elite hacking skills to properly spy on this hotel. Just make sure no suspicious characters come in and I... 
You saw nothing. Oh, so now the game starts judging Link for trying to barge into every room he comes across. Waiting for hours and hours is so much fun. Look at all the fun we're having. There is so much fun I can't contain myself. All right, lady, what top secret super dangerous task do you have for me? I mean, obviously this is a high stakes mission if we're meeting at the dead of night. So I'm assuming that- You want me to deliver a letter? A letter? I don't even need the piece of heart. I just want this guy to wipe his ass on it purely on principle. Man, this guy's still delivering the mail in the middle of a storm while the literal apocalypse is only a day and a half away? I wish my UPS guy was that dedicated. A ring ring, your mail's here. Just kidding. It's a trick. Sneak it in your house. Gonna find out what's- Oh my God, he's a furry. You know you were just talking to a postman, right? You know that I'm not a delivery boy. Right? Oh my god, he said the meme! <gasps> Nintendo was teasing the new Pokemon games all along. Hey, Coffee, I delivered your gift. You should probably go bang your wife. Whoa! Who are you? Are you Kathy as an adult? I, I can't decide on a way to say that guy's name. I mean, personally, I would have preferred a Charmander mask, but I, I guess this will have to do. More f***ing... Mail! All right, we're hiding out in the land of the dead to stop this thief once and for all. It'll take all of our skill, courage, and... Oh my god, after all we've been through, have you seriously never learned my name? That is not how rocks work. Oh jeez, that's the mask you're giving your bride-to-be? I mean, at least take out a loan and get a nice ring or something too, jeepers. Oh, okay, so when exactly did this thief become a James Bond villain? Why does he have a bunch of block puzzles and a conveyor belt in his secret lair? Okay, we did it. We got the ugly mask. Now, uh, if you two could just kiss and uh, make up, I'm gonna go do something uh, slightly more important, like saving the entire world. You know, it's just like John Lennon said, all you need is love and four giant dudes to punch the moon back into orbit. Uh, look, Ma, up in the sky. Giant red testicle monsters. Yeesh, Tattle, I get you're mad, but being so savage, your words literally turn red. You gotta chill, girl. See, look how relaxed Skull Kid is. Oh crap, he's going after Neil Armstrong. All right, it's now or never. Time to follow Majora into the final area of the game. What kind of twisted, messed up dungeon could this twisted, messed up game possibly have in store for... This doesn't look right. I was expecting Detroit or something. Hey there, little kids wearing the dead faces of monsters I've killed while also somewhat resembling the happy mask salesman. How are you guys? I don't know where these kids learn to play hide and seek, but this is not what I signed up for. Keeping with the theme of everything Great Bay related being absolutely terrible, the water themed part of this final challenge is a complete game of chance. You know, there's gotta be at least one kid growing up who accidentally repeated what these guys say to their parents and probably got locked up in an insane asylum. Oh my God, Ted, Ted. You forgot to actually put any bomb chew puzzles in the game. Just cram some in at the end. It'll be fine. They won't notice. Da -na -na -na. You got the DeviantArt original character do not steal mask. He's just like Link, but a badass. Oh no, he's growing anime. Okay, seriously, what the f was Nintendo thinking with this boss fight? And at long last, the gay agenda to blow up the moon was successful. Wait a minute, after all this, you still want that stupid mask? I mean, not even counting the homicidal demigod inside it, it's just totally gonna clash with that overcoat, bro. Uh, I I'm pretty sure canonically, uh, the, the masks I have are filled with dead people, not happiness. Remember? So many people died on this adventure. After everything we've been through, Tattle's still sassy and aloof till the very end. I'd be mad, but you do you, girl. Hashtag slay, baby. Hashtag slay. So, that's it? That's all Majora's Mask has to offer? I start off looking for Navi and I don't even find her? What's up with that? And only four temples where they all just had arrow upgrades? What the heck's that even about? I mean, yeah, I guess I had some good times along the way, meeting new characters, learning how to travel through time, and exploring a world unlike any other in gaming. 
And I suppose that outside of the dungeons, there was a lot of more cool stuff going on than practically any other Zelda game. But what about all the random weird lore? The stupidly dark themes for a children's game. This game's just... This is messed up, man. It's just so freaking messed up. And you know what? I'm gonna miss it. Except for you, Tingle. You, you're, you kind of weird me out. In, in a sexual way, I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with you. Yeah.